When blossoms flowered meets the snows upon a winter's night, was born the child, the Christmas rose, the king of love and light. The angels sang, the shepherds sang, the grateful earth rejoiced. And at the blessed birth, the stars their exaltation voiced. O oh, come, let us adore him. O oh, come, let us adore him. O oh, come, let us adore him. Christ the Lord. Again the heart with rapture glows to greet the holy night that gave the world its Christmas rose, its king of love and light. Let every voice acclaim his name, the grateful chorus swell. From paradise to earth he came, that we with him might dwell. Oh, come, let us adore him. Oh, come, let us adore him. Oh, come, let us adore him, Christ the Lord. Oh. Let us adore him. Ah, adore him, Christ the Lord. Oh, come, oh, come, oh, come, let us adore him. Let us adore him, Christ the Lord. Good evening. My name is Amy Rack, and on behalf of us, all at St. Timothy's, I'd like to welcome you. If you are visiting us tonight, we're grateful that you've chosen us to be with us here tonight. We would like to, all, to invite all of you to the Christmas Day service at 10 a.m. tomorrow morning via Zoom. The link is in Monday's special service email, your weekly e-news, and on Facebook. We'd also want to invite you Sunday morning. We will join the diocesan service from St. Paul's Cathedral on YouTube. Links are published in the same places I mentioned earlier. We also would like to uh, invite you to the drive up contactless communion available this evening uh, immediately following the service. Uh, please enter the circle drive closest to Ashworth Road. Masks are required and social distancing practiced. 
Tonight we will hear the voices of the witnesses of those from the first century who wrote of Jesus' birth. This is not just the story of some far-off happening in a far-off land, but it is a story of God's presence breaking into our world today. As you listen and sing tonight, think of God being born among us right now, right here. Let us pray. Holy One, we come seeking for something to be reborn with us tonight. May our hope for a better tomorrow, our love for one another, our compassion for an often hurting world, be reborn in our hearts tonight. Work your miracles within us. We pray in the name of the, of the child who is born among us. Amen. Once in royal David's city stood a holy cattle shed where a mother laid her baby in a manger for his bed. Mary was that mother mild, Jesus Christ, her little child. of deep, deep breaths and restful sleep. We dreamed of love that lasts and suffering that passes. We, we dreamed of doors open wide and a, and a cure to disease. We dreamed because to dream is to believe. For to, For dream, to dream is to hope, hope. To, dream to dream is to see. So make in your being to dream yet again of a, of a world, world without, without fear and a God, God that draws near. near. For it is almost Christmas. Love is, is almost, almost here. here. May we dream to see and hope to believe. Let us worship holy God. In the beginning, God dreamed of a beautiful world. In Egypt, the Israelites dreamed of freedom. In the wilderness, the people dreamed of safety. In Jerusalem, the people dreamed of a Messiah. In Bethlehem, the shepherds and wise men dreamed of a new beginning. Then, several years later, 
Jesus walked this earth and dreams came true. The sick were healed. The poor had food. The forgotten and ignored were seen. The children were welcomed. Everyone was invited to the table and the world has never been the same. So tonight, we are those who dream. Tonight, we dream the same dreams of our ancestors before us. Tonight, we dream of justice and mercy, of love and kindness, of peace and hope. Tonight, we dream of a God that draws near to us out of unfailing love. May this candle be a reminder that there will be a day when every dream will be fulfilled. And until then, we will be those who dream. Let us worship holy God. Once in one Together, let us pray. God of light, we thank, we thank you, you for giving, for giving us, us the gift, gift of, of Jesus Christ. Christ. We, we come before you with wonder and delight that you come, come to, us to us in the child born in a manger. Be, be with us on this day of birth and rebirth. Come, honor us with the presence of your gracious, joyful spirit. Fill our weary hearts with renewed hope and joy. Rekindle in our souls the light of Christ. Glory to you in the highest. O God, glory in the highest. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. A lesson from the Old Testament, from the book of Isaiah, chapter 9, verses 2 through 7. The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Those who lived in a land of deep darkness, on them light has shined. You have multiplied the nation. You have increased its joy. They rejoice before you as with joy at the harvest, as people exult when dividing plunder. For the yoke of their burden and the bar across their shoulders, the rod of the oppressor, you have broken us as on the day of Midian. For all the boots of the tramping warriors and all the garments rolled in blood shall be burned as fuel for the fire. For a child has been born for us, a son given to us. 
Authority rests upon his shoulders, and he is named Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. His authority shall grow continually, and there shall be endless peace for the throne of David and his kingdom. He will establish and uphold it with justice and with righteousness from this time onward and forevermore. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will do this. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Psalm 96, sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord, all the, all whole, the whole earth. earth. Sing to the Lord and bless his name. Proclaim, Proclaim the, good the good news of his, his salvation, salvation from, from day, day to day. day. Declare his glory among the nations. And, and his, his wonders, wonders among all peoples. For great is the Lord and greatly to be praised. He, he is, is more, more to be feared than all gods. gods. Let the heavens rejoice and let the earth be glad. Let the sea thunder and all that is in it. Let, let the, the field, field be joyful and, and all that, that is therein. Then shall all the trees of the wood shout for joy before the Lord when he comes. When, when he, he comes, comes to judge, to judge the, earth. the earth. The New Testament lesson, Titus 2, 11 through 14. For the grace of God has appeared, bringing salvation to all, training us to renounce impiety and worldly passions, and in the present age to live lives that are self-controlled, upright, and godly, while we wait for the blessed hope and the manifestation of the glory of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ. He it is who gave himself for us, that he might redeem us from all iniquity and purify for himself a people of his own who are zealous for good deeds. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, to, be God. to God. Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord Christ. In those days, a decree went out from Emperor Augustus that all the world should be registered. This was the first registration and was taken while Quirinius was governor of Syria. All went to their own towns to be registered. Joseph also went from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea to the city of David called Bethlehem, because he was descended from the house and family of David. 
he went to, be, went to be registered with Mary, to whom he was engaged and who was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for her to deliver her child, and she gave birth to her firstborn son and wrapped him in bands of cloth and laid him in a manger, because there was no place for them in the inn. In that region, there were shepherds living in the fields, keeping watch over their flocks by night. Then an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone all around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for see, I am bringing you good news of great joy, for all the people to you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign for you. You will find a child wrapped in bands of cloth and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace among those whom he favors. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Christ. Please be seated. I just have to tell you, I feel a little odd because usually this service is quite rambunctious and there's usually people running around or kids running around and there's lots of noise in the place and it's eerily quiet. And maybe, maybe that's okay. Maybe we'll hear something different tonight. I want to share a story that <laughs> happened to me when I was in, oh, fourth or fifth grade. And Sister Dolores had her Christmas crush out. And it was on a card table, okay, so it's already a recipe for disaster. It's a card table with plaster figurines of Mary and Joseph and the camels and all of those hearts on there. And it was indoor recess. Can you imagine what happened? So we were kind of playing around and all of a sudden there was this loud crash. And all of these figurines just tumbled to the ground and we're all like, oh, Sister Dolores is going to be so mad. Well, she came in, she looked around, and she told small groups of us to each take a figurine and try to glue it back together. So that's how we spent the rest of our indoor recess with Elmer's glue and the figurines. And when we were done, as you can imagine, they kind of looked like this, all different kind of shapes and forms. And baby Jesus was missing. <laughs> Nobody could find baby Jesus in the midst of all of the debris on the floor. So Sister Dolores, in her wisdom, still hadn't chastised us yet, made construction paper hands, and then drew a heart in it. And she set it in the middle of the manger. We were all like, wait, that's not baby Jesus. What are you, do Sister Dolores? And she's like, well, this is time for our lesson. Because whose hands do you think those are? Now get it, we're like fifth graders and we're still not into metaphors yet. So we're like, what? Hands with a heart. She said, you're, you're the hands. You who say you love Jesus are the hands that hold the heart. And we're like, 
does this mean we're not in trouble? <laughs> it's like, so, you know, as we got older, I think we started to understand that lesson, which is the great thing about story, is that the message and the meaning changes over time. And I think now how beautiful those pieces are that were brought together because we were afraid. And somebody nudged us through to put the pieces back together. And they came together in a story that we never imagined. And isn't that kind of like the story we hear tonight? We're told, don't be afraid. It's a story we never imagined. And it's a story that we get to live every single year as a reminder that we take our part in fulfilling God's dream of a peaceable kingdom here on earth. And it starts with us doing this so that we can tend to the heart of that baby Jesus and bring it right here. Right, Mrs. Wilson? <laughs> right here. We carry that with us wherever we go. And especially during these times where we have to adapt, adapt. Does that make the message of the story any less meaningful? No, because we're still trying to gather all our broken pieces from this year, our routines and the people that we may have lost or the jobs we may have lost and try to gather them back together for a new and different story. This is a story of hope. This is why we come together. This is why we give great thanks, even in the midst of sorrow, that we do this together. Amen, amen, amen. Let us say together the Nicene Creed. We believe in, in one God, God the, the Father, Father the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, of one being with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. By the power of the Holy Spirit, he became incarnate from the Virgin Mary and was made man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day, he rose again in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will, he will come, come again, again in glory to judge the living and the dead. And, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son. With the Father and the Son, he is worshiped and glorified. He has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, we look, we look for, for the, the resurrection, resurrection of the dead, the dead and, and the, the life, life of the world, world to, come. to come. Amen. As we join the angels and celebrate with joy the birth of the Son of God, let us offer prayers to God who gives new birth to sons and daughters in every place. Our God, Emmanuel, 
while we meet tonight in warm fellowship and love, we pray for those who are still out in the cold. May the, May the light, light of Bethlehem's, Bethlehem's greatest child, child touch, touch every, every dark place. place. For those who, because of persistent hatreds, terrorism, or war, are far from the promise of peace and goodwill. Come, Come Emmanuel, Emmanuel, and, and help, help your servants complete, complete the works, works of love and, and peace, peace which, which you have launched. For those who this night live in refugee camps, squat in derelict buildings, or sleep in back alleys or on park benches. Come, Come Emmanuel, Emmanuel, and aid all your lost and homeless children to, to find their, their true inheritance. For those who are ill at home or in hospital, the diseased and maimed, and the latest accident victims of our highways and streets. Come, Come Emmanuel, Emmanuel, and bring comfort and, comfort and hope through those, those nurses and, and doctors who do, do your healing work this night. For those grieving folk who for the first time are facing Christmas without a precious loved one at their side. Come, Come Emmanuel, and, and give to the grieving that deep soul peace that no human voice or hand can offer. For the church in every land, wherever it worships and works in peace, and especially where it lives under constant threat and persecution. Come, Come Emmanuel, and give all your people the assurance of your constant presence and your all-sufficient grace. And now, holy friend, we pray for ourselves that this Christmas may not pass in vain. O Spirit of Christ, you are the very Word of God who became flesh Give each of us the will and the wisdom to back up our prayers with appropriate actions. To your praise and glory. Amen. Amen. Let us with gladness present the offering and oblation of our life and labor unto the Lord.
of the Father's love begotten, ere the world began to be, he is Alpha and Omega, he the source, the ending be, of the things that are that are All who seek to be nourished and sustained in the journey of faith, all who seek and all who struggle to find wholeness and compassionate paths to peace and justice are welcome here. God be with you. And also, and also with, with you. you. Lift up your hearts. We, we lift, lift them, them to God. God. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, it is right, right to, to give our thanks and praise. praise. Blessed are you, breath of peace, giver of all life, source of love that knows no boundaries. Your song of wisdom rang out before the world began. Throughout the ages, your song of liberation has filled us with your hope for a world where those considered last and least are first and most. Violence is overcome by the power of your ancient love, and all siblings work together for peace. You bring our longings to birth and send prophets to awaken us. We thank you for those who, like Mary, have the strength and courage to give birth to your love in the world. For those who, like the shepherds, dare to seek out the child of Bethlehem. For those who, like the wise ones, actively challenge violent and oppressive powers. We praise you that your everlasting light is shown to us in womb and tomb, in cradle and cross, in tenderness and compassion. And as we give thanks for your coming among us, we proclaim your goodness by singing. make this bread the means of our rebuilding, this wine the medium of our transformation, this table the foundation of our renewal, and this community the place of our rebirth. We remember Jesus who on the night before he died took a loaf of bread, gave you thanks, broke it, and said, take and eat. Whenever you do this, remember me. Likewise, after supper, he took the cup, saying, This is the new covenant. Remember me. Gracious God, breath of peace, source of love, we pray for your spirit. Make, make us, us while, while many, many one. one. Make, make us, us though broken, broken whole. And so we pray. Come, come Holy, Holy Spirit, come. Amen. 
And so we join with our siblings around the world in the prayer of Jesus. Our Father, our Father who, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy name. Thy, name. thy kingdom come, come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. We, we who, who are many are one, one body, for, for we, we all, all share in the one, one bread. bread. The table is set. Come you seekers and you holy ones. Come you lost and you lonely ones. Come you faithful and you doubtful ones. Come take your place and receive God's hospitality. Come receive the goodness of our Lord and then share it with your neighbors, family, friends, and strangers. We, we come, come to, to the, the table, table to share in God's gifts for us. The body of Christ, the bread of heaven. Amen. Amen. Let us pray together the prayer of thanksgiving. God of, God of great, great joy, joy, we praise and thank you, for you have not left us alone. Each year you come to us, Emmanuel, God with us in a manger. Each time you come to us in the bread broken and the cup shared. May we, for whom the heavens have opened to proclaim that God is with us, go out to be children of light bringing the good news of your Son's redeeming love to the world. Amen. Please kneel as you're able.
please stand as you're able for the blessing. Go now and join your voices with the song of joy in all creation. Announce peace, herald salvation, let the earth know that God reigns. And may God sustain you and those you love. May Christ Jesus be born a Savior within you. And may the Spirit reveal to you the glory of the Christ child, full of grace and truth. Amen. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia. Let us go forth in the name of Jesus. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. May God's hope, peace, joy, and love be with you. And also with you. Let us offer each other a sign of God's hope, peace, joy, and love. 